Nearly 3,000 veterans, families, and community members came out to support the Vietnam War 50th Anniversary Commemoration Welcome Home Ceremony held at Veterans Park in White Settlement, Texas, Saturday morning on August 1st. This event was co-hosted by the City of White Settlement and Naval Air Station Fort Worth Joint Reserve Base, Texas. The day started with a Welcome Home Parade filled with floats, flags, military vehicles, and Vietnam veterans. Following the parade, a commemoration ceremony was held to thank veterans, allies, families, POWs, and those who remain missing in action for their service and sacrifice. You did not hesitate when the Vietnam people needed you to help. You have fought in honor for all of us and for generations to come. Your valor and strength have protected the freedom and the democracy in South Vietnam. Unlike this celebration, many of the Vietnam veterans remember a very different reception when they returned. Went to Vietnam in 1967, uh, did a lot of fighting on the river boats. It wasn't a great time, lost a lot of good friends. And uh, after I got out, came back to the United States, We were allowed to wear our uniforms and be proud. As you're well aware, it is already too late for many. And although we cannot make it right, it is long overdue that we get it right. So today, we pay tribute for your sacrifices and hope to show you that it is never too late to welcome you home. While we're here celebrating 50 years, that certainly makes some of us feel a lot older than we thought we were until we walked out and reminded this morning. But also, I think it's time to recognize beyond that and all of our services in response, our, our law enforcement, local, state, federal, as well as our firefighters. It's a triad of response that we require today, including our military and these other services we have. We did not make the decision where to fight or choose the time to fight. Most of us volunteered, others were drafted. We were proud Americans that wanted to do our part to make the world safer. I mentioned the fact that the battalion motto was let valor not fail. I would tell each of you that we did not let valor fail. We did our job. I must relate one other story. This past Tuesday, at uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, the third battalion 187th returned home again, led by a Lieutenant Colonel Harkins. And the video of thousands of people beating that unit tells you that they did not let Valor fail, and we have not failed our troops today. Thank you very much. The challenge for us today, not just today, but every day, is to carry the meaning and honor of these memories and sacrifices, and of our honored dead, and pass them on just as we are doing today. So many of the people here, the children, understanding what it means to serve and to be steadfast in our devotion to duty and to not necessarily have to be rewarded. I received my welcome home in February 1973 after seven years and five months of captivity by the North Vietnamese. And I know I know why I'm here today, <clears throat> and it's to welcome you. Thank you. I think that this event itself uh, is a healing for a lot of veterans. Uh, I think the welcome home is a long time coming, but we are determined as Vietnam veterans that no veteran will go and be treated like we were treated, never again. I just wish to thank the military, all of the groups here for doing this for us. You know, it is an honor and uh, this is truly amazing, truly amazing. For 301st Public Affairs, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Jeremy Roman.